you sent me just the other day, these some content marketing survival tips, and I want to go through them with you one by one. So we're starting with tip number one, interview everyone. So let's get into that. Who is everyone, first of all, and why should you be interviewing them? We can put the air quotes on everyone. Interviews are where you gather your context and the nuances of the industry. You learn about your customers. You learn about the products. The people on your team, they drive the content. So just step number one, back to basics here. Content marketing 101 is interview the folks on your team because that's where all the knowledge is at. That's where all the insights are at. And you can use that to, to power your content. Yeah, that, that's such a good idea. And it's so it's like low-hanging fruit, right? It's pretty easy to do. If I was starting in a content marketing role, I'm like, okay, let's, we're, we want to get our messaging in order. What do our customers care about? I'd go right to our customer experience team or our customer success team. Be like, what are you talking about with our customers? Absolutely. Yeah. And the one other tip I would add there is if I could go back, I've just survived my first two years at a, a very hot, fast growing startup in a fast growing industry in one of the fastest growing times, just like I drew it up. But if I could go back and do it again, <clears throat> I would set up like recurring touch points with your key mm. stakeholders. Like you said, merchant success, they're going to, they're talking to the customers often sales team. So that's one thing that I would also offer like newer, new ish marketers out there is once you interview them, that's great. You get like the lay of the land, but then set up some like recurring touch points. Maybe that's mm. going to be like monthly or even quarterly with them and also the product team. So you know what's coming, you know what products are in development. You're creating space to, to get that information and um, translate it into some, you know, some hot, fresh content. So definitely interviews are just like essential to yeah. the whole content engine. Good point that you're making. It's not a one and done kind of thing. Right. It, right. It, it's, you should be having regular conversations, just like you said. Yep, yeah, because things are changing. Things are moving fast and changing. So what you initially learned in your first interview might not be the same six months later. And yeah, it's, I was chatting with Joel Barker, who is a, he owns Lion's Way content agency here in, in Portland. And he said that content should never be an emergency. So if you've got mm. these, you've got these touch points there, you're able to look, see around the corner at what's coming down the product roadmap so that you can line up the content and the product at that on launch day and you can have it ready to go and you're not like scrambling to get something out the door half done. Okay. So let's move on to survival tip number two, recruit your allies. So have at it. What are we talking about? My biggest regret is trying to do everything all by myself. That, that was, I wouldn't wish that on anyone. I wanted to get in, plug in with the team, do the writing, do the content, do the social, the email, the product marketing, just do it all. And the funny thing about like B2B content marketing and content in general is, especially if you're at an early stage startup and you're an early marketing hire, is you can work literally 24 hours a day. Yeah. There's, you can do it. You can work all day long, eight days a week. So recruiting allies makes your job so much easier. There are allies inside the company, referring back to the first step, set up those touch points, but also don't forget about allies outside the company. So there are freelancers that specialize in your industry. And in my case, it's e-commerce and SaaS and Shopify. There are agencies, there are interns and like virtual assistants and just all sorts of folks out there that can help you scale up. So we uh, currently, we've, we're working with a few different agencies to help us like drive like content consistently, a high velocity content. But early on, I made the mistake of trying to do it all solo. And so that made for some like several 12 and 14 hour days strung together, just working it, like trying to crank it out. But if I could give a tip to some early, the B2B content marketers out there, recruit some allies to help you scale that and think, think ahead. If you're doing it on your own, that's not really scalable. So recruit some folks that can help you do that. 